even just this little area, you see people that are homeless that are old people and, and they are walking around with shopping carts. Now, how sad is that? You're watching Fraser Focus. According to a provincial report card that was released in mid-2018, BC has the highest rate of seniors in poverty compared to the rest of Canada. We're going to go talk to some locals. As that's what happens. As you've said, Joan, you could have ended up on the streets. Yep. It was, you know, a few years ago, and yep. that, that could have happened. And then, what, you know, what do you do then? You Apartment start. expensive, food expensive. If you seek... You got big problem with medication, pay medication. A lot of people don't afford that. So I need a ge generation two knee brace, and I was quoted at twelve hundred dollars. So where do Whoa. you get this? Where do you get the twelve hundred dollars? No, you dollars? keep it in your purse. <laughs> the requisition. That breaks. Honestly, it breaks our hearts to really hear that. They said it's tough, like dealing with the poverty. It hurts. It breaks your heart. Like, see, it's one, oh, Perry, yeah. and that's one thing, like I say, is we see it all the time, and it's so hurtful. We try to be strong. We try to talk about it, but it's painful, and the things that these people are going through, like I said, from elderly to the young to it, the homeless, and, and that's wrong, and we walk by them. Like, people walk by them just like they don't even exist. They're suffering souls that are here. Have, did you eat today? You haven't had anything to eat. Okay, well, that's not good. Canada is supposed to be one of the richest nations, but yet, you know, like a lot of us have to sacrifice our groceries in order to buy special things like that we need, like toilet paper and stuff, and even that makes a, a dent in our grocery bill, you know? It's hard living paycheck to paycheck. Now take away the paycheck. Exactly. <laughs> now what do you have? And now what do you have? Pearl isn't your typical 83-year-old. She still works a full-time job. So the reality is, what are you living off of? Uh, you have a pension? You I have... have CPP and old age pension, and I get a guaranteed income supplement, which worked out to about 1500 a month. I got every month the same amount of money. If my doctor decides I need some different medication and I have to pay for that, my money is short. And what happens if another emergency comes up? Well, I have to put on MasterCard again. There, and there's not enough to put into a savings account. I have a savings account, but nothing's in it. All thrift shop. All thrift shop. Even the brooch. I'm not sure where I'd be if I didn't have government housing because I can't afford average rents I see in the paper. I owned a tw townhouse for 27 years and the cost of living kept going up and I had to continue my mortgage payments. Yeah. And then when I sold, it was like I was so in debt that I didn't really profit. You don't want them to suffer when they get older after working hard all their lives. I know, too. it's so, so sad. So People have worked and paid taxes all their lives and then they can't afford to live. When I was with the federal government, one of the main things what we did was we went to the government-funded seniors' homes and we asked them what they wanted for Christmas. And it broke my heart to see what came back. It, one person said a chocolate bar. Are you still living in the same? Yeah, I am. I'm in the same area. Yeah? yeah. Are you still living? Something's got to be area? done. And yeah. it's people who have to step yeah. up, like Kim's Angels have done. Well, you're looking good. We've added our, uh, we call it our mobile unit, which will be actually um, going around um, the township and the city 24 7. Uh, what we're looking for is oh, blankets, mats, toques, jackets. Thank you, Kim. Really nice to meet you. I love it. I hope we can make a difference. The government is required to release its full poverty reduction strategy by March of this year in 2019. I'm Leah Bolton. You're watching a Fraser Focus. Stay with us.